Greetings and welcome to another Hackintosh video. Today this is going to be an HP 15 AC 121DX iCore 3 Intel Integrated Graphics Video Card 5500. We've got High Sierra on it. It's a vanilla install. Sometimes I have to go into the Clover settings, hit the space bar, and tell it to use injected texts. And then it'll boot. I don't know why I have to do that sometimes, but I do. <clears throat> so here we are booting. I have it in verbose mode. Usually there's an Apple logo there. Not really missing much. Um, thanks to Rehab from Tony Mac x86 who I read many, many readmes and how-tos to do this. I kind of got pooped out on the uh, DSDT patching, but I'm going to tackle that later. Uh, I also got the uh, Ethernet working from a guy from Insanely Mac. Thank him. I forget his name, but he made the driver for this, the kext for it. So I have at least this network. And the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth card that comes with this laptop does not work. And everybody knows it doesn't work. You can order one from eBay that does work. I don't have that on this video, but if you Google search it, I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, this particular laptop has a touch screen, which is interesting because it acts like a giant trackpad. You don't get all the gestures from a normal trackpad, but you get the basic drag and drop, point to click features. And it's kind of fun because Macs don't normally come with um, you know, they don't normally come with uh, touch screens. So here we are, uh, Hi Sierra. I was able to update this. I installed it from another Mac, a real Mac. And then when I got it to where it was going to do the user setup, that's when I put it in this machine and got it to boot. And I loaded this user on here, did the latest update, 1013.6, and the latest security update, just fine. It did great. So you can do updates with the new Clover. Uh, EUFI bootloader, um, which they call a vanilla install. It's because it keeps it on the EFI partition and does not affect any of the vanilla um, High Sierra files. So that's why you're able to do that. In fact, I can even boot this this laptop up with uh, with this drive here, which I'll show later. This is a this is a, another High Sierra straight from a Mac, so it has no Hackintosh on it at all. But it'll boot using the Clover boot. EFI from this hard drive because it's set up to do so. I'll show you that in a sec. Anyway, well, let's click on the gingerbread man, Phil Tassone there. And we're going to put our password in. And here we are in High Sierra. We'll go ahead and go to about this Mac. There it is. So we have Hi Sierra 10.13.6. It thinks it's a Mac Pro with Retina, which it really doesn't. But it is in early 2015, so that's right. 2.1 gigahertz uh, Intel Core i3, which it is. Six gigabytes of RAM, which comes with this laptop. It's a kind of a, a less expensive lower end, you know, um, but it works. You got the graphics card and you can go to the drivers. Here, I'll show you the drivers real quick. System preferences. That's right. All right, so here we are. Uh, we'll go. So we have trackpad preferences, which work. You can do it. All, that works with the Voodoo uh, PS2 tech text, I believe. Um, we have audio, which I think it gets its audio from uh, I, using a Voodoo HDA, I believe, or something. Um, <clears throat> And then if we go to system, about this Mac and system report, you can get and see what we got here. I don't know if you can see this, but our graphics, oops, our graphics are actually using Metal, which is the new, uh, Metal is the new graphics acceleration in, in Mojave and Catalina and all the new, starting with, uh, I forget, I think it was Sierra or High Sierra, but anything from 2013 on will do Metal graphics. Uh, I have a MacBook 
Pro 2011 and a Mac, an iMac 2011, which will not do metal. So they won't upgrade to Mojave and because the graphics are terrible. But this little guy, this is a 2015 laptop, it will do it. And it has one, one USB 3 port up the front here. So if you want to use the one USB 3 port, that's the one you use and it works great. So let's see what else is there. Um, let's go to Ethernet cards. So our Ethernet card, it's uh, Realtek using the Realtek 8100, 8100 kext file. And I had to put that in system library extensions for it to work as per, that's what it said on the St. Louis Mac forum. Now, if we go to our network, I'll show you what I have to do once in a while with this port. Now the Wi-Fi, like I said before, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth combo don't work on this, but I have one on order, a USB one from eBay that's Mac compatible. We're gonna try that out. Um, but if you go to network, you can see it's not working. So what you do to fix this, you can see the light just went off. In fact, it just did it just now. So we're gonna minus, get rid of your ethernet, hit apply, okay? Then just add plus ethernet again and apply. And it'll, uh, it'll refresh your, <clears throat> your router will refresh this and it'll work again. Okay, there it went. So there you go. It refreshed, we have internet now. Everything works great. I can use iMessage. I'm um, sorry, messages. <laughs> and so messages work. Um, if you hold control click, you can do your you can do your other sub menus. Uh, what else is there? Um, Final Cut works really good. Let's let's uh, let's open up a project here. Final Cut. Open up her library, and this is just on a 320. I found I had a little. 320 gig 5400 speed real slow hard drive laying around to try this out on because I didn't want to I don't want to waste this drive because It's my backup high Sierra drive and it's actually a hybrid so it's supposed to boot up faster But here's a here's a project. I did uh, Oh, no, this is this is my sister. Okay. Yeah, so I'll play you this. It's kind of fun. Let me go um, Also, the audio is very soft on it. Um, the sound jack does work, but um, Bluetooth, I don't have Bluetooth, so I can't Bluetooth to a speaker, but I can plug a direct wire in. But here's that video again. Let me, let me do it full screen for you here. So yeah, she's kind of being goofy there. <laughs> anyway, so Final Cut works. Um, iTunes works. Now, if you need to ever get to your EFI folder, it's really easy. You just, you need um, a Kex or a Clover configurator. Click that. And then um, you can mount your EFI. Actually, you can mount your EFI because it's hidden it, on any drive. You just click on it. And in our case, it's HP Hackintosh hard drive. We just say mount partition, put in your password, hit mounts. And then you can open up your click your config file as well. Open. So what that did is it actually mounted my, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an actual EFI drive right there. And then you can go to it. I've already been in it. It's right here. So this is my, this is the config P list I made for this laptop. It was a pain to get everything working, but hopefully it'll work for somebody else. Uh, let's see here. So that's the config for it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm still kind of learning it. I don't get it all. It's very big. It does a lot of things. Like I have my boot graphics or a boot up. You can add different things. So like I'm going I'm to take off the verbose mode just because then, uh, then it'll show the Apple logo. So we'll take that off. We'll save, file, save. So that overwrites the old config, quit configurator. 
and we'll reboot. You know what? Let's go ahead and reboot from the Sierra, High Sierra Drive. This is a Mac. I know I said it before, but this is a Mac formatted. Um, this will boot on a regular Mac. It's not doesn't have any modified EFI. We're going to use the EFI from this laptop to boot this regular Mac drive. Here we go. All right, so we're looking for um, boot Mac from High Sierra. That's this drive. So here we go. Now there's our Apple logo because we disabled the verbose mode. It is now booting on this drive, which is a real Mac drive, no modified EFI bootloader. It has the default Mac OS bootloader that it's <laughs> it's a real drive. <laughs> it's wild how this this Clover EFI works. Yeah, it just, it's amazing. I just did it for, for grins to see if it would boot, and, and it did. I was like, what? you got to be kidding me. That's pretty cool. And here we are. Now, it looks just like the other one because I don't, I don't really change much in my, my computer, but it, it, um, it has the, it's the same. It's going to say everything the same as the Hackintosh because of the Clover configuration. So if we go to About This Mac... It'll say, hi, Sierra, early 2015. So it says everything the, 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 old, the old drive says. Anyway, so that, that's the HP Hackintosh in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I'm going to shut this down. Thanks for watching.